Hello, everyone. There's a buzz. There's a buzz about the video game industry. Redfall. Now, I don't. Um, hi, everyone. Hello. It's Wednesday. We're here talking video games. There's a buzz coming through my microphone. And I don't know why or where that's coming from. I'm hearing it in my headphones. And so I'm going to try and lower my gate. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of that. Let's go over here. We're going to... Yeah, listen to that. So if I turn the gate all the way off, we just we just hear it all the time. That's not good. That's not what we want. But that would seem to indicate that it is probably an issue with the microphone cable. Or perhaps some kind of signal interference coming from something else. Hmm. Well, I can uh, at least turn the gate back on so it's not going to make us too crazy um huh blowing on the microphone cable like that's gonna do anything um let's try to touch the other end of it Well, I don't like this one bit. Okay, what I'm going to do... I think I have another XLR cable... Out in the garage. I know where one box is where there should be one. I'm going to go get it and see if replacing the cable does anything. And I'll turn on the computer while I'm out there and we can, maybe, uh, here, let me, uh, if I can turn that on, then maybe you'll see me as soon as it, as soon as it all comes up. All right, let me figure this shit out. Man, this sucks. All right. Bad caves.
Check. Check, 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 check. I don't know. Yeah, this is. Uh, 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 hmm. Anyway, I don't know if this is. Uh, I don't know if the audio is coming through. I don't even. I don't know if any of this is coming through. I. The only XLR cable I have is threaded through a fucking mic arm, which is uh, the, the, not good. I also have another microphone. Try swapping them both out. I, I don't know. Not a great solution. Okay. All right. Not an awesome, not an awesome solution. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, the man, that sucks. Okay, so the only thing I have uh, could find that was an XLR cable is threaded through this uh, mic arm. So, not a... Not a permanent solution for sure, but we can at least swap out the cable and see. Um, the spider webs in this thing. This is a poor, uh, this is going to be a very, uh, sketchy. Very sketchy operation. Take the sock off and put your face on the mic. Does that, does that actually do it? I don't, this, I don't know if this even, hmm. I assume it comes off because why wouldn't it? But I don't know that I've ever taken this off. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to start unplugging cables here. So you won't hear me for a little bit. Here we go.
Okay. Uh, check, check, check. Well, the buzz is, is gone. So, uh, there you go. Bad cable. Um, but now I have to swap back to the bad cable <laughs> because I can't, I can't leave it like this. This, uh, this hangs too much. There's too much dangle. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I can't, uh, I mean, I, I can't hold this. This is this, this, if I, if I'm not holding this, I can't leave it. Like if I, if I'm not holding this, it, it is going to pull the, the mic out of the socket and like, like there's no give on this part at all. So, so I can't actually do this. Okay. Okay, now we're back in the buzz zone. Um, hmm. For a second, I was thinking, could I use NVIDIA Broadcast to filter out background noise? But I think with the way everything is routed... Um... That would uh, that would apply it to all game audio and everything else. But let's just hey, I'm curious now. I'm curious now. Let's see. Uh, microphone. Noise removal. Check, check, check. Well, that's not going to... Now how do I get this into this? Um, okay, let's try. This is going to be weird for a sec. You probably hear me twice now. And now you should only hear me once. But I still hear the buzz. I still hear the buzz. Do you still hear the buzz? Because I guess I'm getting direct um, monitoring. So I, you should be getting the NVIDIA broadcast version. Okay. Well, if that doesn't work any, uh, then I'm just going to. I'm just going to undo that change and we're just going to go with it. Um, and I'm going to um, buy a new XLR cable. 15 feet gold plated.
the question is, do I need 15 feet or should I go down to 10? Let's look here. Hmm. <clears throat> well, 15 feet is $30. 10 feet is 24 You know, I know, I know that this is a 15-footer. And it does have some slack, but um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with the 15 feet because 10, with the way this cable is is wrapped around the outside, I am going to just stick with a 15. Oh, we need a. We're just gonna get a one pack. We don't need a two pack. Anyone who needs one my cable surely needs two. Honestly. Oh, apparently the 15 foot only comes in a two pack. Um, I moved, so I moved, uh, you know, what is it, two years ago now coming up on, um, and now I live somewhere where if I, um, certain things that I order online from an, from, from an Amazon, it just says overnight delivery available. And it's like, it'll be there at 4 a.m. I'm like, I don't need the Well, maybe I, I guess I, maybe I do need a, my cable by 4 a.m. Um, and so that, that's, uh, so I'll have that. I'll have that by 8, 8 a.m. tomorrow, I guess, is what it looks like on that. So crazy. Uh, all right. Well, shoot. Uh, hopefully that won't be too much of a problem when other game audio is happening and, and, and whatever else. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into something else. I don't, you know, the, the, the Redfall stuff got announced this morning and yeah, the real question is why does it happen? I think the answer, well, let me pull on this cable and see if, ah, 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 chick fixed it. Yeah, okay. Electricity is the actual answer. When I'm holding this cable up like this, no buzz. When I drop it, well, I dropped it in, in a place where... So my entire power brick and everything else down there is right there. So I'm sure it was laying on a power cable. I hate... <laughs> I hate um, my, my, uh, my daughter uh, is very interested in this microphone and I have probably an hour recorded of her kind of just talking into a microphone and she like, she wants to do her own podcast and uh, the words I wish she didn't know like podcast and, you know, and, um, and and so sometimes she will come in here and just grab this microphone. I, I keep it swung all the way over here. I'll show you. It's normally like this. And so and so I swing it out. Um, when it comes time to use it, she will grab it, swing it out, and then grab on this and crank the microphone down. Uh, and then, and then, because the cable is is routed so tightly through that thing, the cable covers pop right out, and that's weird, sharp metal, and uh, and I don't like that. Um, and and so I just, I sometimes I come in here and the microphone is is all just fucked, is all just in a crazy weird spot. I'm like, oh okay, uh, it's buzzing again. Okay, if I hook this cable around my headphone holder, I get ah uh, ah uh, uh, check 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 check. 
Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, she'll just grab it and want to talk in the microphone. If OBS is open and it has a camera shot on it, she's like, oh, she wants to get up in the chair and sit so she can see herself and, and, um, and she'll make little announcements and stuff. It's, it's, it is incredible. <laughs> um, but I don't want her to, you know, but, but also that means that she's like over here and there's like power cables and a bunch of, this is, this room is a disaster. Um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, my son is really good at climbing on everything now. And the other day he, I had to move this table here over and swap some things around because he was trying to climb this shelf, which was everything I, every horrible, scary thing that I thought it would be like, Oh no, he'll pull that whole thing down on top of him. Oh, this whole house is a death trap. This whole house is a death trap. So that, that is, that is the other kind of big part of like moving out to the garage and everything is like, okay, I, I can't, I just, you know, like the way that this setup needs to be and, and whatever else like is just not conducive to, um, you know, kids crawling all over it. So, so yeah, so the, the hope is to move it out here into this zone uh, you see, there's plenty of room, plenty of room. So, uh, you know, I'm not really, you know, it, it's any, any day now, any day now that'll be ready to go. Um, the thing you can't really see, I guess you can't really see my mouse cursor, but on the right side of the screen, there's a, this is a bassinet with a bunch of stuff in it that that bassinet needs to go. It's too rickety. And also, we do not currently have any bassinet-aged children, so uh, so th that can go. Um, and the rest of it, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's very hard to find time to get out there and really actually make a dent in things with uh, a couple of kids and, and everything else that's going on. So so it's uh, unfortunately been very slow going out there, but. So probably what that means is I will eventually start running some streams out of there where I am really going through all that stuff and getting rid of a lot of it. Um, including uh, this box up here full of Super Famicom games. Which I do not want or need. Um... And if you missed it, I, I, I was on the Insert Credit podcast not that long ago uh, with uh, Frank Cifaldi, and um, and I mentioned to him about dumping those Super Famicom games, and he was like, no, that's all done already. You don't need to do, you, you don't need to do that. And I was like, oh, awesome. Yard sale. I'm not going to, yeah, not going to have a yard sale. Not going to have people come and buy my house. Not really going to do that. <laughs> so, um. So yeah, um, video games. There are some out that I want to look at. I don't know that you know, Tron. Tron Identity is a visual novel, and so I do not expect we will spend a ton of time with it. As I, I, you know, that's that's a game I want to just kind of play and experience the story. And I don't know that streaming a visual novel is um, is cool, <laughs> regardless. But I do want to see what this thing is so why don't we take a look and see what this thing is together that's the wrong that's the wrong one hello uh let's fire this up And we will set this up appropriately. Endless mode. That's interesting. Considering what I think I know about this game in terms of it being sort of visual novel-esque, the idea of an endless mode is interesting. I 
I've heard this has a, has a good soundtrack. I've heard good things about this. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm... I'm very touch and go. I'm very wishy washy. I'm very. Um, I think a lot of the Tron fiction can be a little hit or miss for me. Oh, Disney Tron Identity. Um, but yeah, you know, there's been comic books and other stuff. Uh, there was the, the, the was the Disney XD cartoon I, I heard was good, but I, I never, I, I still haven't checked that out. And some of the other stuff, like I, there were some folks on the Discord yesterday talking about. I'm I'm in the wrong channel. I'm on the wrestling channel. We don't. Yeah, there it is. Chrononauts out there talking about Tron 2.0, and no. <laughs> the story of Tron 2.0 is actually pretty bad. The data trees that flank your path. I'm not getting, yeah. A slab of a security program. That's right, I didn't dodge the light cycle. Because I don't feel like I have to. I'm tough, man. No pleasantries, no greetings program. This guy looks like he sucks. Disciples of Tron, a detective. Ah, oh, these DOT guys are down here. Department of Transportation? No. Disciples of Tron. Oh, shit. Easier if you work with me. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is empty corner. Yeah, a, a detective named Query is, is pretty good.
Hmm. Let's just uh, let's just ask questions. What are you investigating? What man? Okay, so we do have... Let's ask about the explosion. Yeah, I remember not really liking Tron 2.0 when it first came out. Um, I think part of it was I remember it not running all that well. going to be a jerk to this guy. Yeah, I can defrag your disc. I'm the best defrag program. This side of de defrag.exe. Uh, all right. Uh, mash data cards to defrag a disk. Drag the circle card onto its matching neighbor. I'm kind of just getting a feel for what these controls are here. Play for me is an interesting... As well as suits you can match by number. Drag the three to its... Okay, so kind of like it's Uno. There are two legal move types adjacent and three packets away. Huh. Cards cannot cross the top of the disc. No move is final. Undo play at any time. Okay. Limited number of times per puzzle. You can make that. Yeah, I make a move. Got it. Reduce card count to the target. Pick your own moves from now on. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going to be able Yeah, we're not going to be able to clear them all because... Oh, wait. No, maybe we can. Um... already overthinking this, aren't I? Uh, so if I only move three moves away, if I go like this and like this, and then this and like this, then this and no. You can create runs of cards or preserve matches to open paths later.
So can I get that one within range to... No, because I can only clear two from here. Um, I need to clear this three because there's no number match for it. So I need to clear it with a circle. This is far the far away over here. I'm not gonna be able to get these. I can get these next to each other, but not. If I clear that, then I clear. either huh oh it keeps putting new cards in oh okay that makes this less difficult than i thought it was Memory still fucked up or uh, yeah, sure. You can join me. Sure. And fucking come on. work together. I like the look of it. Truth behind it. Oh, that's interesting that it's got the little kind of branching stuff here. This guy seems like he's into the users, but also this guy seems like he sucks. I do the work. Huh. 
I mean, there should only be one right answer to this, but also, I mean, you know, hey, if we're a disciple of Tron, then this is probably the canonically correct answer. An arc safe from Clue, huh? All right. Okay, so this is post, post that other movie, obviously. Capital H, him, sure. Yeah, we owe Jeff Bridges a lot. Makes sense, Grish. Makes sense. I'm just gonna hear this guy out. I'm just gonna let this guy fucking ramble about all his shit. What's up with these colorful boxes? or sell them to each other. You're telling me we, you, we all live inside a computer and you don't know about file sharing and sharing videos? Corn. I this the yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't like Prince. I don't like him. in this vault. I just look, I'm just trying to figure out who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. If you can fucking tell me, I we talked to Knuckles in the in the saloon car and he sent us here okay let's start with the vault So I just figured we'll get in the good graces of everybody. And, uh, and then figure it out from there. Oh, huh. Got a little map now, huh? Let's go to the vault. We'll go to the vault and maybe we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll go through like one more kind of conversation here and then maybe, uh, 
maybe move on. This is something I will probably play to completion. think What's this kid doing in here? Tron kids. Perhaps I could defrag another identity disk. Time to make some connections. Blocker cards are temporary cards that take up space. Work around them. When the bar next to a blocker card is full, it disappears. Okay. There are two cards of the same value consecutively. This is what it wants me to do here. If you're lucky, blockers may turn a gap of two cards into a gap of three. Okay, yeah, that's sensible. If you'd like to skip a puzzle, you can do so from the pause screen. I, you know, I'm not sure that I'm that into this specific thing. cards the same value consecutively. Does that mean, like, if I get a six here and then another six here? No. It wants two sixes. Again, no. Wait. Reduce the number of cards in a program disk to match the target value. So I have a target value of two. Unlock location. So I guess this is, that's like a bonus objective then? Maybe we keep these two sixes next to each other and then try to line up a similar scenario here 
with these fours. Ah, they fucked me. They fucked me on the sixes. And then I just wiped out the other six. God damn it. Uh... Did I not just... Wait. Clear two cards of the same value can... Oh. There. That's it. That's what it wants. No can do. So I knocked out those two sixes in a row, so I completed the kind of the unlock location task up there, but then I can't actually get the rest of these out of here unless I'm too fucking stupid. Because I can't, I can only move one or three. I, mm. Yeah, man, I don't think I like this. Okay, that's what I... Well, okay. That was what I was doing wrong. There was a move there. I just wasn't seeing it. I don't know. I mean, like a little self-contained story about a robbery, kind of solving a mystery. That's a that's kind of a cool setting for this. Have you heard of Tron? It was a video game. And it was like a it was like a mini game collection and four. I don't know, Grish. Kid's brain is fucking fried.
Kerbloid in the chat says, this feels like it's missing the important part of visual novels, which is big text that's easily readable for long times. Yeah. Well, maybe there's settings and stuff like that. I don't know. What do we have here? Yeah, you got UI scale. Big. Well, and let's go look at this prisoner and then and then we'll probably move on and play something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. You enjoy my garden? Yes, yeah, it's good. It's a good garden. Pro program. Just, yeah. Sure, this looks good. That's a lot of cycles. Yes, uh, breakfast monkey. This, this music is just slightly off enough to not be relaxing. Yeah, it's uh, it is unsettling. I feel like there were parts of the original Tron movie where there was like background noise that was kind of fluttery type stuff that, that this kind of reminds me of a, a little, little bit. But, but it, this is obviously much more forward in the audio mix than, than any of that was. Is that a trick question? Of course I know what trees are. Trees are data. You heard it here. Look, lady, I'm... I have questions. Okay, so we do have the, like, exhaust all options version of the dialogue tree also. Okay. That's Tron Identity. I, you know, it's, uh... Pretty much everything I thought it would be in terms of it being a Tron visual novel and... And all of that sort of stuff. Um... I 
I'm just not sure I'm into the part, the 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 video game part of it did not seem, uh, did not seem super engaging. Um, but you can skip those, I suppose. Um, I wonder if endless mode is just that over and over again. Yeah, it is. Daily run. Yeah, so you can just. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, like I, I would probably do that that mini game in in the context of the story, but I don't know. Well, who knows? Maybe by the end of the story, I'll be so into that game that I'll want to play in endless mode. But I don't know about that. Um. Let's switch back to this. Hello. Um, Bryn asks, have I ever actually played a full proper visual novel before? I, hmm. To completion, I, hmm, I don't know. I feel like I've messed with a bunch of one, them over the years, but uh, I'm trying to think, you know, any case where I just got so engrossed in one that I saw it through... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. None are immediately jumping to mind. Um, the, do the Telltale games count? I, mm, I don't. I don't think the Telltale the Telltale games count as as visual novels. No, I mean they're telling stories, but those games are more rooted in the kind of point and click adventure-y kind of roots. Would we consider Phoenix Wright to be a VN? I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess they kind of. I guess they. I guess the, the Phoenix Wright games are pretty close to that. Yeah. So. So yes, I guess in in that in that case, Phoenix Wright. I did play through one of those. I never. I I never did not finish a Danganronpa game. Um. I guess, you know, yeah, considering visual novels can have puzzles and, and little bits of gameplay in them that does Professor Layton count, all those matchstick puzzles, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I'm not, like, especially opposed to visual novels conceptually, right? I mean, just, just it's a choose-your-own-adventure book, it's interactive fiction, whatever, you know, whatever, right? I mean, it's fine. I just don't know that I always love the presentation of static images and text on the lower third of the screen and i i it's this sort of thing you know could those can those games be fully voiced and would that make them more engaging is there you know i don't know this is uh the i don't i'm not especially opposed to reading in video games but uh At the same time, like that kind of like, okay, I'm buttoning through this stuff. The image isn't changing. Like, I, I think there's, there's some aspect of it that I, and I, I, I'm saying this, but I don't know that it would actually matter. Right. But, but when I think about like what you could do to visual novels to make them appeal to more to a wider fan base, would it be a production value type of thing? What if all those cutscenes were extremely animated? Instead of static images, what if all of that was cartoon-like animation? What if, is Dragon's Lair a visual novel? No, but like the, like what if all that stuff played out in fully voiced cutscenes and, and, and all that and, 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 you know, was a little more high touch, high gloss, um, sort of thing. Yeah, or FMV at that point. You you could. I mean, they have. Uh, but yeah, interactive anime. You know, what if it was that? What if it was like, hey, we're we're watching, we're watching these scenes, and then occasionally I'm making a choice. Like, there's nothing. I I, I think the the idea of interactive fiction is cool. I just yeah, I wonder if it was if it was a little more. 
Yeah, VNs are much lighter, right? I mean, yeah, it's it's it's, it's meant to be much lighter, but you know, nothing about it says it has to be. Stein's Gate Elite is that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, company. Yes, companies do need to stop with their their fucking ha ha ha. We made a visual novel. I think that's um. It's just been done too much. <laughs> um, it, you know, like it, it's been like the the joke was loosely funny when they first started doing it, and now they keep doing it. And I don't know. The Sonic the Hedgehog thing was was like okay though. Um, are QTEs named after the QuickTime video player? Asks KDR eleven K. No, uh, I think they just. I, th I think that name just kind of was one of those mishmashes of English words that came out of Japan. The, 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 you know, the same way full reactive eyes entertainment was the genre they tried to slap on Shenmue. Um... No, I don't know. Yeah, like yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's easy to sit and go like, well, yeah, would would more people be interested in visual novels if they were uh, you know, much grander in scope and scale and production value or whatever? I think the answer is probably actually no. But I don't know, you know, you, it's, it's it's that delicate balance. Like, you know, people like good storytelling. Could that be the middle ground for people that are out there right now talking about how the last of us television show is, Oh my God. I mean, you know, like th those are people that are maybe going to be interested in seeing more from video games, but they may not have the dexterity to hold and use a modern controller, uh, effectively Would those people be more engaged by, effectively a choose your own adventure you know like a like a high touch interactive fiction thing a, a a you know i don't know at some point you get to a point where it's like hey uh you know and and, and that's some of the some of the fmv games we've seen some of the kind of indie fmv games we've seen have, have approached that a little bit i guess but they are, I, I think it's, it's, they, they, all that stuff does start to blur the line between what do we consider a visual novel and what do we consider something that's more in line with a point and click adventure game? You know what I mean? Like the, there's a, I know it when I see it sort of difference between the two things, but I think you could, they, they do kind of converge at a certain point in terms of storytelling. Um, or they can. Uh, rather. Yes, motion comics versus versus visual novels. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, Bryn, you're right. It, it's it's not necessarily surprising that the most of the visual novels that have done well in the West have been on handhelds. I mean, yeah, something that you can kind of you know the same way you would pull out a book on a bus and read part of your book. Uh, I think that. That makes sense. You pull it out and you go through a couple of scenes and I don't know. I, I always liked, uh, yeah, I don't know. I always liked choose your own adventure game, uh, books when I was a kid, but I don't especially, I, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 they're not all about dating clearly, but I, I think there's, there was just the, the genre had gained such a reputation, such a, a gnarly reputation at times uh, for just the, I, and it's, you know, I don't know. I'm sure that there are good pornographic visual novels out there. I just feel like any one that I've ever seen has always looked like the, and, and you see the same thing with a lot of the adult games on steam right now, where you just look at it and go like, Ugh, who wants to, this is someone out there is finding this sexy, I suppose, but geez, man, come on. <laughs> Um, we could do better than this. Uh, 
So I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of the beautiful thing about visual novels is that they can kind of be anything. Uh, they could always be about anything. Um, but they did gain that reputation of, of being so super about, you know, like kind of the visual novel dating sim kind of pipeline or, you know, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm like I said, I'm not super opposed to the form, but it's it's a situation where you look at it and go like, we could be taking more advantage of the medium than this. I guess is maybe how I feel about even even looking at Tron here, where it's like, okay, top two thirds of the screen, static image, light movement light animation and you know scrolling text on the bottom third um i guess i just look at it and go like yeah well you know if you and and it probably doesn't make sense from a budget perspective on, on a lot of these games but you just look at it and go like yeah you know if, if what if this was fully animated and fully voice acted it would make it a lot longer and and for some people that would be a deal breaker on its own cuz some people do just like to kind of read it like it was a book novel is right in the fucking name of the genre so naturally but I just wonder if that would I wonder what that would do in terms of like getting more people interested in that style of game or if it would just be like hey this didn't necessarily attract a new audience and now the existing audience is a little put off by uh, having to sit through all these fucking cutscenes instead of just reading it so maybe maybe there's maybe that's not like a no win middle ground kind of situation but um anyway tron identity is out now on pc and switch 15 bucks for that and uh and yeah do i like visual novels or am i coming from the perspective of trying to like them I'm in, in, I would I would call myself indifferent about it. Like I'm I'm not opposed to them, but I, I'm I'm not going to say I like visual novels because I just it's not something I seek out on a regular basis. I'm not opposed to it as far as like a a way to tell a story, but I guess I find that many of the stories that are being told in visual novels are not really interesting to me. So. So I guess like, yeah. And, and the ones that are like trying to be jokes and be jokey about the medium, you know, that's interesting up to a point, but I think a lot of that has been done now. And a lot of that is also kind of reliant on you being in on the jokes by being a, enough of a visual novel fan to be like, Oh yeah. All right. Um, and I don't necessarily have that. So I'm not necessarily trying to like them either. I, I'm, I, they exist and I'll, I'll check them out and maybe I'll hit upon one that I like more than others, like I am, I'll tell you, I am much more likely to play through a Tron visual novel than damn near any other visual novel out there. But Tron is such a fucking weird thing, man. There's so much, there's quite a lot of Tron out there, uh, for, for something that's really only, you know, a lot of people reduced to just like the two movies. Like, there are the comic books. There is the Tron 2.0, the video game that is non-canon. Thank God. Um, there is the Disney XD show. What was that? Tron? Was that Tron Uprising? What is that? The... I forget what that was... What any of this stuff was called. Um... And I, like, I, I always try to engage with all of the other Tron stuff. Uh, and it's all fine, but it's never quite fine enough. It's never quite past a line where I'm like, yeah, more Tron. Instead, it's like, oh, it's more Tron. Is it as, you know, interesting as the core of it? And, and that's, it's a weird thing, right? Because obviously fucking the original movie Tron is a slow ass boring ass movie uh but i love it it's something i 
it's um I there's something about Tron and I think it's it's probably the age I was when it came out probably like seven we went and saw Tron at a drive-in and I wanted to be I wanted to live inside a computer um as a kid you know like that was something that was like yeah I want to do that um and yeah I don't know you could probably come away from that being like yeah I, yeah I fucking reality sucks man <laughs> like I yeah I wanted to get away from all the shitty kids I went to school with and just fucking live inside a fucking computer and not have to deal with you know bullies and all the social shit just all of it all of it um when I was in elementary school I just yeah it all was fucking bad um and so the idea of living in a computer seemed pretty fucking appealing by comparison <laughs> um and uh so yeah i don't know that that just uh that whole thing really stuck with me but it's weird because I, like i for as much as that is like kind of a core fucking thing uh for me i like i said i think there's a lot of other tron fiction out there that i look at and just kind of go like yeah okay all right yeah i think the second movie is really good i like it a lot it is not a fantastic movie, much like Tron, much like the first movie, right? I mean, like if you look at it critically, if you try to look at it and compare it to other films and whatever else, you just look at it and go like, yeah, this is like the first Tron is a fucking slow ass goddamn movie. The second movie, like, you know, the guy, the, the lead in it is he's just kind of flat. Jeff Bridges could probably stand to get a little more screen time and, and Jeff Bridges, uh, de-aged as Clue looks kind of rotten but goddamn the world they built the visual style of it the advances they made looking from the first movie to the second movie the soundtrack obviously you know like like all of that stuff the way it moves forward the way they moved it forward i thought was fucking astounding i came away from that um i yeah i loved it I loved it. It was it was everything I wanted from a Tron sequel, mostly because I think, you know, it's it's when you go back and look at what Tron really was. Um it's a very slow moving love story. <laughs> uh you know, uh with an insane visual style, right? Uh yeah, I don't know. It it's uh yeah, it it's as an action movie, it's it's very sluggishly paced. And so it's a, it's kind of a low bar to clear. If we're, if we're pulling out from, if we're pulling back from the, yes, the vibes, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I, I don't know, like the, 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 I thought that movie was cool. I remember I, I got to see it a little bit early, um, on account of having a friend who was working at Disney at the time. And, uh. And that was fucking cool. And, and yeah, I don't know. I remember when, you know, when Disney was making games themselves and not just outsourcing all of the stuff the way they do now. Um, I remember we, we were talking about this a little bit on the podcast yesterday. Disney had an event. I was in LA somewhere. I think it probably it had to have been. And it was where they, I believe they showed that canceled pirates of the Caribbean game. I was talking about yesterday. And then also they had the fucking Tron, legacy light cycle there and they weren't letting people sit on it uh but it was there and i was like man that's fucking cool as shit uh look at this goddamn thing um and yeah i don't know that was really cool i thought that game was was pretty decent for what it was as someone who uh, like on a weird as a goof almost got all the achievement points in, uh, in that Tron game that came out on 360 and PS3. Uh, that game's okay. Story-wise, it's kind of whatever. I think that's, that's the thing you know, that one's at least trying to kind of insert itself into the mainline Tron fiction in a way that some of this other stuff kind of doesn't. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know. I have all those Disney Infinity figures. I think the only one I can, well, it's not here now because this room got dismantled and put back together hastily, but um, I still have the uh, the Tron Disney Infinity figure out somewhere. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's uh, Tron endures, and and so like that's when people go like, oh, I can't believe Jared Leto is going to be in it. You know, like I, that doesn't that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, because of just some of the performances we've seen in previous Tron movies have been pretty fucking questionable. And so when I hear that, I'm like, yeah, sure, man, they should make another Tron movie. I don't just get it done. I don't know what, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't be like, I'm, I'm fine with it. Put whoever in it. Let's get it out. Let's see. They'll either make it or, and, and, and keep it going or they'll make it and they'll kill it. And that'll be that fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, just uh, just make more of it. And let's see. Let's see how it goes. More big budget Tron stuff. Uh, because the like I said, the 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 kind of sub this the side the side stories Tron Gaiden, if you will, has never really has never really filled the void the way that um that I wish it would. Whether that was again Tron 2.0, the first person shooter, which is a fucking weird like the story there where you're like your plan is his son named Jet and uh all that other shit. <laughs> it's just kinda I, I the story in that game I thought was super bad. Um I should go back. I bought all the comic books, I bought like a tr a trade uh paperback at some point uh w for that thing and um i've got it it's in the garage somewhere but i bought it in portland in like 2007 or something remember we went to portland because a friend of mine had a friend we all went to high school together but i didn't know her but we went up and hung out in portland for like three days and ended up going to some comic book store and it was like the first time I'd been to a comic book store in like a fucking decade or more. <laughs> so I just randomly bought a bunch of shit and I was like, Oh, Tron stuff. Let's get some Tron stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm going to probably play through the rest of Tron identity because I want to probably won't stream it. Cause it's, you know, it's me silently staring at the bottom of a screen while you all stare silently stare at the bottom of a screen and I make selections and you know that's I don't think that's a particularly engaging video game stream or or whatever. Um speaking of cyberspace, why don't we play some Cyberpunk 2077? Have you heard of this game? You heard of this thing? You're on the streets. Um they released their big weird ray tracing update and I'm curious to see how well it streams. I played a little bit of it last night and I don't know. It looks okay. Uh, Lacuna Coil says, speaking of side stuff, did you play through the Star Killer Star Wars games on 360? It was really good dude stuff in the Star Wars universe. The, the, that was the, the Force Unleashed games, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, those games are cool. I mean, that's that's like the kind of physics-y, crazy shit you want out of the Force, right? Is like, look at us pulling all this stuff around and flinging it about, and ah, we're having a great time. This, you know, yeah, that those games were cool. I thought, man, I'm trying to remember if the first game was better than the second game in some ways, but it's uh, I can't remember. Um, they the two of them kind of blur together a little bit. Was the second one the bad one? Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. Was the first game the one that started out with that, where you got to play as Darth Vader for a little bit and just kind of like stomp around and kill fools? I remember sitting in the office in Sausalito and we just, I, I don't remember where this came from, but we got it in our heads that it was just like, like, the soundtrack should have been some ice cube song as Darth Vader just stomps around and murders people that that would have been a great fit. I don't remember where that came from, but that's what stuck with me from that game is us joking that ice cube 
should have been playing in the background as Darth Vader murders. I don't couldn't tell you why. Couldn't tell you why now. That part's lost to time. Um All right, the red launcher. What? What? Okay. Okay, we're going to hit play on this. And we're going to... This didn't launch last time I launched this. Is that... Oh, all right. We're going to fire up Cyberpunk. And I think all this stuff is already turned on. Okay, you're seeing the game on stream, but I'm not seeing it on my desktop. That's an insane situation. There we go. This game... I spent so much time, but whatever. I was on German television talking about this game when it came out and how uh, it's not a great game. Right from the get-go here, press B to continue. I can hit A and it still goes. What are we doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. Path tracing technology preview on. Um, well, yeah, let's see if we can get the HDR. Um, tone mapping to be proper. Okay, well. This ran, I, I was running this last night. The frame rate was absolutely acceptable. It ran totally fine with all this stuff turned on and turned all the way up for whatever that's worth. So I don't know that it will continue to run that way uh, now that we're also running OBS and compressing videos and, and all this other stuff. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, this actually still is running quite well. The stream maybe doesn't look as awesome in terms of keeping up with it, but uh, yeah, it's maybe a little hitchier. Oh, there's bad guys over here. Let's... Let's push this button and then hide around the corner while they all die. You know, cyberpunk stuff. So I guess like, you know, the path tracing stuff and, you know, like I feel like I have a handle on what path tracing is in terms of lighting and how it does its thing. But in playing the game, I'm like, yeah, the lighting looks good. Well, now that's not what I have chosen. Well, whatever. Okay. I, uh, is this worth playing if you've never played it? Well, look, I... So my big problem with Cyberpunk, to have the conversation again, is I think that the core main plot line, the main story, um, is bad. It's it's a it's a it's it's like a clumsy story. It is really poorly told in some spots. The conclusion is very clumsy. It does that thing that a lot of games do, where you've got kind of like a big choice at the end of the game, and the way they handle that is not is not handled well at all. And so it's a case of like, hey, I uh, they build DLSS frame generation. I believe so. I believe that should still be on, but we can double check. Yeah, frame generation's on. 
We could go with DLAA over DLSS because you kind of have to choose one or the other. And I don't know what the what the 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 option what the better option is here. DLAA makes it look better with the new. Well, let's try that then. I don't know. Oh, this runs way worse now. <laughs> yeah, that that uh, that runs way worse. Let's try quality. Yeah, that's a much smoother frame rate. Yeah, it's a little actually it's a little a little hitchy on quality. But maybe that's just it changing over. Yeah, this this seems like it's running okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little yeah, it's like the motion blur is a little weird. Good looking shadow on that car, I guess. This is always a weird. It's like it's not even showing the full response. Like it's just kind of. All right. Glad we did that. Uh,. Is there anything to do? I guess let's just go over and see what this side job is. Which way is that? Oh man, yeah, this is... I'm gonna switch this back to auto from quality and see if that makes a difference because... Eh, it's a little... I mean, you know, we're streaming. Like, I'm, I'm streaming and I'm recording uh, with a separate encode quality, so third person, let's see your fit. Uh, is that a what? Well, I'll just go into the character. You can, no, where's I currently look like this. Those are the highest numbers. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I, this game to me is like, like really frustrating because like there are aspects of it that you're like, man, if this was like a better game, that'd be cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, Am I? Pretty sure you're dead, dude. But the yeah, I just the that that main storyline, all the Johnny Silverhand stuff, like it's so disappointing. It's so disappointing. And that was stuff like, you know, at launch that sucked. And that's not something that got better. You know, they fixed a lot of bugs, they did a lot of stuff, but they did not like rewrite all the bad dialogue or um you know make the the main 
storyline more in Oh, hello. Can we hang on a sec here? Can I just... Can you just take one of those? Oh. That's a bummer. That man's eyes were on fire. something for you as well, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And it's a shame because I think, you know, when you when you get into it a little uh, into more of the side stuff and kind of see more of the game, there are little bits and pieces around the edges that are just like more engaging, you know, which is true with a lot of games like this. It's like, oh, you know, oh, the Dark Brotherhood quest line is better than the rest of the entire game or, you know, whatever it is. Right. But um But I feel like even a lot of the side stuff I did in this game was really pretty dull. Would it have been better had it been a third person game? I, I don't think that matters. Like, sure, maybe. I don't know. Like, not... Not really. I, I think it's fine as a first person game. It, it doesn't... Let's just... Oh, wait. Well, well all right. What's... <laughs> How you guys doing? I'm just here. Can't see me. Uh, but yeah, I don't think third person would have would have necessarily like saved the game. Again, it, it to me it's a factor of like okay, it's bad that it's buggy. It had a lot of problems along those lines, right? Uh, they fixed a lot of that, but the game still feels janky in a lot of ways. Um, which is no good. That's just fucking... Like, it, it, we've, we've passed a point in terms of the amount of time this game has been out for that to be, like, excusable. It was arguably not excusable at launch, but hey, a lot of games launch rough, rough right? Um... But again, for me, all of it comes back to the quality of the writing and the main storyline and a lot of the side stuff just being empty. And this and this game just feeling largely empty and, and lifeless uh, was, was my biggest problem with it. And, and, you know, people are like, oh, the police response is so bad and the cops just spawn and do this. Like, sure. Yeah, that's all bad, too. But there's so much more fundamental core stuff in this game that is just not done well that it almost doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Is this game still a mess then? Last time I tried playing it was when they first rolled out the cross save functionality and my I I finished the game and when it spit me back out into the world I couldn't jump. I had a case uh, where all of my weapon inventory disappeared. And this was when they rolled out crossplay. So this is like, what, six months ago or something? I, I forget how long it's been. But um, but that was like late last year that they did that. It's just still really buggy. What the fuck is this? What am I even looking at here? This is just the opening scene of the anime? Well, why is this fucking here? Do they just really insert, insert a side quest that's an ad for the anime? Oh, 
Yeah, back it up. Yeah, let's skip that. I don't care. Is there a quest here? What in the fuck? What in the fuck indeed? Text somebody and ask them about somebody. Okay, how do we... Okay, so we hold down the phone thing. Wait, who are we texting? Muammar. This whole system of, like, finding... This whole thing of the shards and messages is so bad. Hey, Choom, you should sign up for Netflix. Let's Delta out of this game and sign up for a subscription now. But yeah, th this, this game is still just super clunky in way too many ways to feel good about, you know? Um... Wait a day. Fuck me, man. Uh, is there anything else we can do? Find the ring in Pacifica. Oh, that's like a that's like a boxing thing, right? Let's go do that. I don't know. I feel like I just run everywhere because I don't like I don't like the driving. <laughs> I never really liked the driving. Let's uh but let's I don't know. Let's call a motorcycle, I guess. Cool, good. But yeah, I think just a lot of it comes down to the writing and whatever else, right? It's just, uh, this game to me is still just, when I, when I think of this game, it is just this huge disappointment. And, uh, you know, the stuff they've done to it hasn't changed that, really. I've come back to it multiple times since release, where they're just like, oh, we did a bunch of this and did a bunch of that, and oh, we got this now. And and, and you come back to it, and you're like, yeah, man, it's still this. Like, it's just, it's still a bummer. <laughs> oh, you guys are bad guys, huh? All right. Uh, well... How about I just destroy you? Because I can. Not even because you were doing anything wrong. You're just hanging out drinking behind a building. And then suddenly you're all dead. And you don't even know why. And I'm over here taking your steel pipe. and laughing about it. I'm not even taking the steel pipe. Because I don't even need it. You got a dull scalpel. Sure. Jesus Christ, what the fuck's going on? Hey. <laughs> I made this what guy drop his this? sandwich. So it's you I'm fighting? 
Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. If so, then lace up, lay down some cash, and let's have some fun. We're doing this? It's for serious scratch. I'm up in the stakes. Oh, I see you're not joking around. No problem. I'll sweeten the pot. Come with me. You two are ready to start? Mm-hmm. Ready as I'll ever be. May the best brawler win! <laughs> Stop! I'm done! I surrender! This fight is over! V is the winner! <laughs> that... Uh, that was a doozy, V. Got me grinning okay. like a goon. Ear to ear. Here's your take. You earned every any. Thanks. You're a real bozo. You know that, Ozob? A what? And you're Miss Normal? Don't turn your nose up at me! <laughs> <laughs> hey. You do know that grenade's gonna pop one of these days, right? I avoid it, but someone else... I know, I know. We all die someday. At least when I do, there'll be fireworks. Yeah, sorry, hang on. I gotta go read this text message about... Okay. Good working with you. What are these guys doing? <laughs> no, this guy's this guy made it, huh? Look at that. No, oh, no, he didn't. You're fucked now. I am fucked now, you're so right. Bloody piggy duo weave cut out tank. Uh, is there anything else? So yeah, like, uh, Oh, then we got a cyber psych over here. I, like, I don't know. Game seems to run pretty much fine. Again, I think it's running a little bit worse because I'm streaming and I'm, or I'm running an AV1 and code and, and a bunch of other shit. You know, with OBS being open. Yeah, that clown's hit points are just stuck on screen now. That's cool. V, near the gym, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. What, my QA? Falling out of the map over here. Most likely from a turret. Y'all see any cyber psychos up here? Hey, you guys, uh, you guys know where the cyber psychos are? As you're, as you're burning or whatever it happens that when I do this to you, pardon me, friend. Have you heard the good word of dying? Okay. 
Is it maybe down here then? Because it, it... It did mention falling off a walkway. I would assume this is the walkway, right? Is this... Or is it over here, maybe? I feel like there's would normally be more dead bodies kind of leading you in the direction of, like, where you're supposed to be going. That item just appears to be stuck inside of the geometry, so we can't get that. What? Splicing to a mode of tracks now, they're super hard. Yeah, sounds super cool. It's Nova anyway. Ah, okay. There. Oh, hello. Eh, maybe not the most effective uh, spell to cast. All right, hang on. Oh, never mind. I was going to get a gun out, but... Eh. Find the Cyber Psycho. I think I found the Cyber Psycho. No, we want the guy. Oh, he's, he's not... I don't think he's stood all the way up, so he's not... Like, no, this, these guys are... Let's fucking shoot guns. I don't know. It's just, it's just been so long. Search the area. Search the computer for more info. Okay. Wanted to fry this gonk I hired, trying to leave no witnesses or pay the fucking fortune, and he axed, except he had defensive chrome and eked out living and fucked me up bad. Then Netwatch joined the party, and I barely slipped out the net before they fried me, fucking clusterfuck, man. My brain's doing gymnastics in my skull. I think, uh... You know, autocorrect on spelling and stuff is a thing now, and it's always a little weird when your future game is full of a bunch of deliberately misspelled stuff. Uh, oh, message Regina. Okay. Uh, okay. Do phone. Open messages. What the... F okay, then we gotta go to this person, and then it's here. 
What a terrible... This is a terrible system. So yeah, this is, you know, here we have kind of an indoor, darker area, and I, you know... Maybe I'll watch the, uh, you know, Digital Foundry video on this whole thing, because, like I said, it's, it's, it's not always easy to tell, like, what am I looking at here? Like, I've got everything turned on, and the frame rate is still good, and the lighting looks nice, but the lighting looked nice before. Not always, like, incredible, but I'll, I don't know that I'm looking at this and going like, wow, oh my god! So, I, I guess, like, that's always just kind of a weird thing. Because, um, like I said, I you know, I, I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what path tracing really is in terms of what they've done with some other games. Um, When has RTX made you say wow outside of Minecraft? Um, Quake 2. Because <laughs> those are situations where you kind of know what that lighting looks like, all their baked in lighting and how those games are supposed to look. And so when you see it for real, then it, it's very easy to see exactly what it's doing. Um... You know, control looks good with that stuff on, but again, you know, like, there's a lot of reflections and stuff that control does when you turn it all the way up that look really awesome. But you turn that down ever so slightly, you're like, this still looks nice. Like, it doesn't have the reflections or whatever, but it's still... But that's still at least an element where you're like, okay, I see exactly what it's doing here. Or look at this and go like, oh, is it, is, is her shadow, I assume, is part of the fun here. I could be wrong, but... You know, nice shiny glass that I don't show up in. I'm trying to think is that, you know, let's go do this gig. Let's go see this gig and then we'll probably do something else. I don't know, that's the kind of the other thing is like there's I've I've done so much in this game that like the stuff I'm mopping up now is just like pretty dull. Meter actually gonna get full for once? No. <laughs> That's the guys over here, huh? Well, fuck you too. I don't even, I don't know what happened over here. Uh. 
Nothing good. Find the van in the tunnels. Well, maybe this will be a dark area where we can see some headlights or something. Maybe that'll look cool. <laughs> Have you considered dying for no good reason? Come on, let's see what you got. Oh wow, they actually uh, lived long enough to find me. Now I'm in combat. Whoa, whoa. Hi. How about you have a little bit more of it if you're not... All right. Uh, I, can, I can do this too. This ain't good. This ain't good. You say that again. Uh, you can say that again. Jeez. Enough. Let me burn your brain to death. You know, you cast Contagion because you're never quite sure if they've got more people with them and... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, uh... This weird robot thing is, uh, is a hassle. Oh, but it's dead now. Okay, well, whatever. And then Keanu Reeves is just here, hanging out. Hi! I'm glad that this uh, side mission rated your appearance of standing here and saying nothing. This is good. We're having a great time. Not the van we're looking for. Hey! Check out these tracks, though. Go deeper down the tunnel. Okay. What tracks? What are we even talking about? Go deeper down the tunnel. I assume you mean this tunnel, right? What was that physics action that we saw right there? I mean, he said go down the tunnel, but also no objective indicator popped up and said like, hey, there's like another way you could go or another, another there's a branch in this mission that was, uh, so I don't know, I don't really know what he's getting at. Doesn't seem like this tunnel goes further back that far. All right, whatever. Next, is it the end of eastbound traffic jams on I nine? Long. I 
Oh, that's hang on. Just let me go. We Well, let's hope this goes there eventually. Okay. I guess the other thing I'd say is I just didn't really... Yeah, I don't know. You know, like a open world game with your crime action, driving cars type stuff. You... Sometimes you want... It was telling me to go this way a minute ago. What's what's going on? All right. What do you... You want me to drive up the stairs? Is that what we're doing? What the fuck? fit through here lose my fucking mind Well, we sure did drive that van over here. Oh, Mr. Hands. You just raked in a hefty heap of eddies and have those animals seeing red. See, I like folks who know how to leave a lasting impression. Do you? I think I'll close this contract Mr. Hands certainly left a lasting impression. Something over here just blew up. Time to burn these men to death for no good reason. <laughs> oh, somebody made it, huh? Hello, friend. What was that? Asses in gear. Stop fucking around. Yes, asses in gear. Everybody doing good over here? Y'all dead? You have anything fun? No? None of the loot is fun? Is that what we're hearing? Alright. Ah. You know, 50 hours in. Oops. Well, whatever. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong button. It's fine. Huh. Ooh! 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 Hmm. Let's see. Anything else? No jobs in the immediate vicinity so i you know i don't know it's uh yeah i mean there are aspects of the lighting that you look at and go like this is nice looking lighting it is hitching up again which is weird uh but i will say that you know for a game that's got path tracing like the frame rate that you can still hit granted this is on a 4090 um but the the idea when we think about how 
you know, turning on any kind of ray tracing. Whoa, this is this whatever's happening here is good. Is that fucking Lakitu? What's going on? Is Lakitu behind me holding the camera? What the? Um... But yeah, when you think about it, classically, ray tracing has meant such a performance hit that it's oftentimes not worth the trade. Um, and how frustrating that has been is like, you know, having like, oh, the, this is the future of video games. And then you're like, oh, but it runs like garbage. Also, how come when I'm on the fast travel map, I can't see all, all my the jobs that are left because I can't remember where I want to go. Why can't we just show that stuff on this map as well? Instead of just like, oh, well, I guess now I need to go look at the map and go, where are some jobs I would want to take over here? Okay, well, maybe if I track this and then will that pop up? Okay, good. That does. Um, You know, it's nice to be in a situation where it's like, hey, you know, yes, you, you can now see a game with ray tracing and it runs at an acceptable frame rate. Um, with bells and whistles and stuff like like that's, you know, that's what has to happen for ray tracing to truly make a difference, right? Is It has to be performant and this generation of cards, as insane as they may be, um, you know, we, we can kind of do that now and... That's cool. You look at it and go like, okay, yeah, the future of games when they're built from the ground up to support this stuff instead of, you know, them being kind of built into this game after the fact and, you know, they're at least the path tracing stuff. Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Could use a buzz. Give me a Calavera. Everyone listen up. This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you. Just cast Contagion, and this is up. done. Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are. And Somebody don't. likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. It says, bad motherfucker on it. Where are your stars and stripes? What the fuck are you talking about? The army jackets six streeters are always wearing. You know, crew cuts going around with EMP nades, protecting people from the big bad gangs. Surely you must be with them if you're doing a stick up on their turf. No gang would be stupid enough to just waltz in here with guns blazing. Hey boss, I think I saw one of them by the window. Could have heard shots. Probably heard you too. Remember, they're trained to detect any kind of disturbance. I told you we should have gotten the coast view. Quit, gawk piece of shit. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's Sixth Street when you need them? Oh, I killed all those guys. Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I don't. I'm good. Anyway, that's cyberpunk. It's still cyberpunk. Let's save it, I guess. Hello. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show any of my other saves here, or is this broken too? Let's try it again. Save game. No? Can I?
this is still this is the still this is still this game. Fucking uh, This is like it, it's sad. I don't know. Like I I I don't, you know. And and a lot of this stuff gets swept under the rug because so much time has passed that people go like, oh, they just, you know, no one goes back to play it. They go, oh, the game's better now. They'll look at all the patches. This ain't No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky got fixed and then some. This game is still rough in way too many ways. Is it better? Of course. Absolutely. Hey! Are you fucking kidding me? But man, man, there's, yeah, I, I, you know, whatever. My position is, it was pretty well established. You know, it's, it's not, uh, the gunplay never felt great. The spell casting never felt great. Um, there's a certain thrill to once you kind of get on the other side of the power line and you're like supremely overpowered. Like, walking around and just pushing that button and watching people just fucking collapse is, like, there's still a sick thrill to that. It was like, <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys. Like, that's neat. But, um, I don't know. I never even really liked the design of the city all that much. Like, there's just, there's aspects of it that are just, like, I, I feel like even the parts that people are like, well, at least it does this. And I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't do that all that well. It doesn't, you know. It's got that watchdog's taste in my mouth, says here I am, 407, to which I say, I I would much rather play Watch Dogs 2. That was a fun story. Art design is great. There is some really good art design in there, but it's not I don't I would not call it consistent. I would not call it consistently great. And um there's just a lot of yeah, whatever. It's it's got a ton of baggage, you know. Like the the writing is bad. the 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 game is just feels flat and empty. The world feels very lifeless. Um, and it still feels that way. I don't know. Like that. That's that's kind of the problem, right? It is especially after all this time and all these patches and the hey, we did this anime and we're doing like this. Just cyberpunk. I'm it sold well. That like it's, it's who cares, right? I'm sure at some point they're like, yeah, no. We did it. We fixed the problem. But no, it's not. It's not fixed. You know? They they sold a lot of copies of it. And um, it's a bummer I, I, to, in, in some ways to me that like that, that game found its way into getting a pass because I think there's just so many aspects of it that are still really fucked. Um but I appreciate them using it, you know, like again, you know, as a, as a game that does have like at least the potential for a really high level of graphical quality for it to then become like this test bed for like path tracing and some of this other shit. That's neat at least. Um, and so I'm curious to see kind of what they, you know, cause it, it's listed as experimental. Like, do they polish it up and then take that label off of it at some point? Does it improve any further than it is now? I, I wonder, but I don't know. Like, there's still just so many weird things about the game that it just, it should be better. Especially for all the copies it sold, for all the, like, forget the expectations and, you know, like, the everything came, you know, they, they you know, they were suffering. They, they were, the expectations set by some of the discussion of the game pre-release led to an almost impossible bar for them to hit, I think. Um, and whether that's on them for the way the game was marketed or, or whatever, I, I don't know. You know, that's you know, a different conversation. Um, but setting aside the expectations going in, I, I, again, I just, you know, my feelings on the game have not changed dramatically since launch. Like, yeah, it, there are fewer bugs and that's, great but you would expect that in this day and age i would expect more 
from where they are, how many years we are past release, the number of weird little things that still pop up, and uh, even over the last six months, nine months, whatever you know, the the whenever they roll out cross save, and I and I saw how broken the game still was, I was like, fuck, man, really? This is still this game, huh? It's just it's sh it's shocking. It, it's it's I don't know. It's it's still yeah. They still have to release DLC. And the game is still in this state. You know? What a bummer. Yeah. Um, but that's video games. I don't know. Like, I, I guess I kind of felt... It, it, it reminds me... I felt similarly about Fallout 4, I suppose. But that was... Sort of different. I don't know. The writing in Fallout 4... I, like, there were aspects of Fallout 4 that I did not enjoy. The base stuff the you know like like there were too many systems in that game for its own good but like the core storyline and narrative was at least like it's all right you know this i feel like that core storyline of like it's a it's a great premise of like you've got the soul of a you've, you've got the construct dixie flatline lives in your goddamn head you know johnny silverham where the fuck his name is um like that's a cool idea um, but the way they try to pay it off at the end, the way that that story, the different ways that story can go, uh, super unsatisfying, super unsatisfying. What a bummer. Um, what else is going on? Huh? There's not much, uh, you know, like, uh, I still haven't started Everspace 2. Uh, someone said the start of that game is very slow, so I'm not just going to like jump into it on stream or something. I'll probably try to spend some some nighttime time chipping away at it. Uh, Tara Heel Teddy says, I love Keanu, but think he was miscast in that role. I think that Keanu Reeves is perfect for that role. I think the writing and the dialogue they gave him is terrible. I think... And because if I look at the dialogue across the entire game, it kind of has the same problem. Uh, I think they handed him a shit script and said, here, read it. And he went, okay, look at these gonks and, and, and did not direct him. Well, did not, you know, like I think Keanu Reeves is perfectly capable as of in, in film, but also he has done some decent voice acting in, in, even in games in the past. Um, and so I think like his voice to that role, his look for that role, I think he is absolutely capable of doing that. But I think the thing that they handed him to read out loud is borderline embarrassing and it's a real shame. Um, it's a, it's a real shame like that of, of all of it, you know, like the, if they had nailed that then at least, you know, if they had nailed the, the line reads and, and whatever else, then at least it would have had that. I don't know. At least it would have had that going for it. But they didn't even nail that. Um, let's play a little Gunsuit Guardians. This is an ass game. An auto, uh, auto, sh auto shooting survival. It's a half ass, I guess, is what we would call it. Because you can turn off the auto targeting and go manual at any point. This is the default loadout. I have purchased some upgrades. Let's get the wing cannons. I don't like the tornado cannons. The laser is pretty all right. Am I still playing Meet Your Maker? Yes, I redesigned. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do a run of this and then we'll check back in on my base. I'll show you what I did to it. Uh, more bullet penetration on the blaster. Why not? You have a dash in this game. Bullet 
bombs. I don't think I've gotten bombs before, so let's try bombs. Oh, they're very slow moving, aren't they? Am I playing twin stick? No, so I'm I'm not I am not overriding the aiming. Let's try the heat thrower. I unlocked that after my last run, but have not tried it. Um 15% damage across the board. Seems like a good suit upgrade to take. You see over there on the left side of the screen, I have limited slots for both suit upgrades and for weapons. We're full on weapons, but not on upgrades. I'll just, uh, I'll just take, you know what? Knockback seems like it'll be useful later on. You kind of do occasionally need to punch a hole through a cluster of enemies. As you might have uh, surmised, the coins I'm collecting are for the out-of-game permanent persistent progression, the PPP. And when the boss comes along, I may shift into manual mode and uh, actually do some aiming. Let's get more damage on the wing cannons, I guess. We have a question mark item down here somewhere, so let's start moving in that direction. I feel like these are usually just a cluster of coins, like a big question mark block for you to collect. Yeah. Um, let's try upgrading bombs and see if upgraded bombs are worth a dang. Oh yeah, occasionally we get these areas that are, you know, off limits. That little alien thing down there at the bottom right will drop up like a perk when I kill it. So we're going to just go in and get it real quick. Thermal weapons do 20%. 5% of all active aliens die when you level up. But I'm more interested in uncovering everything. Restores 15 HP on level up. That might seem cool, but 15 hit points is nothing in this damn game. Like, your, your take hits that'll, like, take... 50 HP off. Um, yeah, more, more fire. Uh, but yeah, this is still in early access. Stop me if you heard this before. This game is still in early access. Uh, and I think uh, so far, like out of the gate, it's uh, it seems pretty all right. We're going to have to figure out a, a more, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to figure out where the dividing line lies on on these auto shooters to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. I think there's, you know, we all have seen some of these that are not good, but a lot of it just comes down to feel on the movement and some things like that. Okay. Um, ballistic weapons. Do you, uh, what do I, uh, I assume my top two weapons are ballistic, right? The default blaster and the, the wing cannon. I don't know. That might've been a waste. I don't know which is which. They are color-coded from the looks of it. Are there any Vampire Survivor likes that are actually better than Vampire Survivors? I... Hmm. I'll say probably not. Well, here's this boss. And so this boss will rush you like that. Um, 
this boss, the first handful of runs ended at this boss because I just wasn't doing enough damage. Now that I've purchased more persistent upgrades, this is way less of a problem. Oops. We're going to toggle off the... We're going we're gonna to manually aim here for a little bit. Just to kill that guy. Uh, what's this one do? Deal double damage when HP is below 20%. Eh, I don't know. That's... Let's start moving in the direction of this question mark. I think the thing is, like, for as good as Vampire Survivors is, and it's cool that they're still making updates, I have played a lot of that game, and I don't... I do, I do not desire it uh, as much anymore. It's cool that they're making updates. I will certainly check in with that when the next DLC comes out and, and, and everything. But like, for whatever reason, I, yeah, I am, I am way more interested in seeing all of the knockoffs that are coming along these days. Uh, because I just find, you know, like, I, I think I'm interested in seeing games that have a different approach. And, like, what are they, how do they approach these problems? Or, or how do they, they approach this from a design perspective? And, and what do they do differently from Vampire Survivors? Like, like that to me is more interesting. Um, and sometimes the answer is they don't have a good, you know, they, they, they don't uh, change it. Um, we're going to go with faster recharging boosts because that's really good at getting out of the way of the bosses. I haven't seen the second boss. I didn't make it far enough, but, um, these guys are a pain in the ass. Let's just go with increase in general damage and try to use that to get the heck out of the way of, like, we kind of got surrounded there. Yeah, Bone Razor Minions feels like every time I load Steam up, there is a patch for that game. <laughs> They're definitely putting a lot of work into that. Uh, was it Lazarus Project? Also seems to be getting a lot of updates. I think they even have a separate branch on Steam for their more experimental updates. There are parts of that game that I like, but I have not found myself going back to it lately. Are there any that don't use a top-down perspective? I... Hmm. That's a good question. I don't... I don't know. Time Wasters is probably the one of these I'm playing most frequently. They, they're they pretty consistently putting out updates every Friday. And so far, their updates have been pretty meaningful. It's like, hey, here's a whole new character with new weapon and new... Like, there, there's a pretty good cadence of updates there that has been nice. And I've started playing that game the way uh, the way Remy plays it, which is to not aim. Like oh, the, my first few weeks with that game, I was just playing it like a dual joystick shooter. But uh, I've given up and started to trust in the ass. And uh, and I've been doing a lot better since then. Any new incremental games lately? None that I can, none that I can really think of. I don't know. I, I do have a true idle simulator installed, and I have almost eight days of uh, of idle time racked up in that. I'm like seventy third place on the leaderboards, so that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that game is uh, that's that that game, that application, that uh, fake Bitcoin miner, whatever it is. I, you know. Uh, This is where I died last time because these guys with the mouths were a real uh, hassle. They just seemed to have more HP than I could handle. Repair 
Repairs your suit gradually over time seems like a pretty good one. I don't know. Health regen is one of my favorite things to put on in a video game. Oh, that's a lot of stuff right there. We need to try to get in there and get it. Oh, God. It's bad. Things are bad. We got to get around stuff, but it's these. It's bad all over. Okay. We... We might not get in there. Just okay. Yeah, we... or, oh, it's just the same boss again, huh? Jeez. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Ah! Oh, we hit some sort of exploding enemy there, and they all died. Nice. This is hectic. Ah! See, look at that. That was one hit, and it took like 50 HP off, which is crazy. All right, we almost got this fucking guy. Oh, I also have a special ability that I never use. I always forget. Boost recharges even faster. How about fire does plus two damage? We've got those fire rings. I'll punch my bulwark ability, and that'll let us get out of the way here for a sec. Really long cooldown on the special abilities. Or special ability. I don't know if there are. I, I don't know if there are any more yet. Oh boy. Okay. I'll stop aiming. I will I will just believe. probably need magnet because it's getting harder and harder to get close to these guys to collect the experience points. I like it when these games have like synergies and that the weapons convert into crazy overpowered things the way Vampire Survivors does, the way that Survivor.io does. Um, ugh. because it gives you like a, a build to strive for. Should not have rushed in to collect all that stuff. I got greedy. And we made it out okay. Uh, bullet penetration seems like it'd be good, considering this massive slab of enemies that we're kind of constantly running away from. If we can be hitting more of them, that can only be a good thing. Bio prototype is pretty much all synergies. Cool. I'll have to give that a look at. 
putting fishing into Hollow Cure. Fucking finally. I have not looked at Hollow Cure in a very long time. Well, relatively, like speaking, I guess. Very long time. It's been seven years. No. Um. This is a this is a, a lot of there's a lot of enemies here. Um ballistic assuming I have ballistic weapons. We're already at another boss fight, huh? Uh, but yeah, so you can you can leave it on auto fire and then just use the right stick to aim anytime you want, and it will override the lock on targeting that it does by default. Or if you hit right bumper, you can toggle the automatic firing off completely. Um. I'm still not sure how I feel about the the idea of being able to control your firing and like like these games trying to have it both ways. You either need to be Robotron or not be Robotron. And I think the what what it comes down to is I think there have been so many dual joystick shooters over the years that as much as I love dual joystick shooters, it feels like kind of a cop out <laughs> when they allow it. Um And I imagine there's like a tuning thing, like a, a gameplay, you know, like what do you kind of what are you tuning your game for, for manual aiming, for automatic aiming? Like how good is your automatic aiming? Does it need does it not need to be good because you allow the manual aiming? I, you know, I guess all all answers are valid on that, I guess. Right. It's uh no oh, an unknown one. Coins add 5 XP. All right, I guess. Having 5 XP is better than not having 5 XP. Uh, I guess more bombs? I don't know. Also, those enemies, uh, some of these enemies here uh, that are rushing, these ones here that I'm shooting, they explode. And so you can have like a nice chain reaction of, uh, that'll help you clear out those clusters of enemies, which is nice when they're around. Ah. Die, 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 die. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not going to be able to pick that up anytime soon. With all these danger zones and everything else that's happening. God. I got to try to keep manual track of where that is because... Ugh. Coins restore five hit points. That's, uh, yeah. All right. More healing. I like that. Shit. Ah. Let's just punch the special 
and get this XP and see if we can get on the other side of this. Because I think is that... Was that upgrade up here? Ah, I lost it. Oh well. Let's head in the direction of the question mark and hope for the best. It's bad. They're fast. They're like they in some way they some of these guys feel like they are faster than I am, which speed is an upgrade you can get, but uh thermal. That'd be like Is is the heat are the heat rings? Is that thermal? That's heat damage, right? Let's have a, a little bit more repair speed for how bad things are going at the moment. That seems like that'd be good. I wish there was a uh, some kind of meter or or some kind of bar on that uh, health regen thing that told me when it was going to like proc like how often am I regening health Okay, restore 15 hit points on level up, I guess. Um, and let's, ooh, another unknown one. Medkits give experience if your health is at maximum. Interesting. 5% uh, of all enemies die on le level up. That seems like anything that's just going to kill a bunch of guys uh, seems like it'd be good to have. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're, I think, I think, that I imagine this game ends at wave 20. So maybe we're nearing the end of a run anyway. Oh, this guy's even bigger. Oh, that was wrong. I meant to dash instead of use my special, but either works, I guess. It's a very big life bar this thing has. Oh. Okay. Yeah, look at that life bar. This is ridiculous. Um yeah, increase increase damage another 15%. All right, we've set the boss on fire. That's good. If he burns, that's... I'm sure that's damage over time of some... to some degree. Okay, dodge that. Dodge that. I figure the right move is to just, like, get your hits in and then get away, because if you get far enough away, he'll dash again. And then after he dashes, he'll be closer, and then I can get my hits in again. Ugh. Dashed right into that one.
Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I blew that dash. Yeah. Man, that felt doable. I've That felt like... Uh, it felt like I could have had that under control and then blew it. That felt doable just that I was bad. Special ability barricade creates a solid obstacle that blocks aliens. Hmm. Okay. So now we have a bunch of coins to spend on these upgrades. Uh, the ability to hold more weapons and buffs seems cool. So I've been mostly spending in that direction. Um, bullet penetration seems pretty good. Or seems like it could be pretty good. Because we get those, they just, there's so many of them there. Upgraded magnet seems valuable because it gets so hard there later on to get close to guys. Let's do that. And then we'll just uh, go on fire rate for the rest. And, uh, what? Where's my phone? What time is it? Oh, I gotta get going. Um, but, um, you know, multiple suits from the looks of it, multiple special abilities, and then, of course, weapons and, and you know, perks. Pretty standard uh, in terms of what you would expect out of a game like this. I like that they've got pretty detailed patch notes. As well. Um, so it's another one of these, but this feels like it's a, it's a good one of these. This feels like it's a good one of those. And, uh, that still counts for something. At some point, this, we're going to hit a saturation point on those games. I'm sure some people already have, uh, hit, hit a point on, on that genre where they're just like, I don't want to see any more of this and stop making games like this, but I'm still in a, for whatever reason, I'm still in a zone where I want to check out all of them. And I think it's a fascinating phenomenon as well that we're seeing so many vampire survivors uh, cl clones is, you know, uh, but like that, that's the direction that, that a lot of indie shooters are, are kind of going in is, uh, fascinating to me. And so I find myself wanting to look at all of them and, and, and see what their spin on it is. Sometimes they have no spin on it at all. It's just like, I don't know. In this one, you're a robot. Uh, but it, other than that, it's another one of those. Yeah, it's, we've got all these ass likes, and then eventually we'll have ass lights, I assume. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm still interested in seeing games like Vampire Survivors. I'm still interested in seeing the the games out there that are you know, in some cases, desperately trying to follow in that game's footsteps. It's such a wild success story, right? That you, it's like, it's almost this naked feeling. It's like, yeah, you're okay. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. You see how much money vampire survivors are making. Of course, you're going to go like, shit, man, I can make one of those and, uh, and make one. So I, but like, that does not offend me the way it has in the past, I guess. When we see a popular game and a zillion knockoffs, like, yeah, I don't know. This is. You know, when Pac-Man came out. And then Ladybug came out after it. And then all the weird hacks and knockoffs. And then eventually you got Ms. Pac-Man. And, uh, you know. Uh, it was just a genre. You know, you never really thought of them as knockoffs of Pac-Man per se. It was just like, oh yeah, I don't know. This is a, this is a type of game. This is a style of game <laughs> and this is one of the five styles of games. You're either making a game that's like space invaders or you're making a game that's like Pac-Man. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> and 
And then Donkey Kong came along and changed everything. No, uh, you know. Um, so it kind of, I don't know. Like the, 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 some, For some reason, the, this genre reminds me of the early arcade days when everything was just boiled down into one of like four games, five games. Um, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it just reminds me of that, I guess. Um, that's going to do it for me here. I hope you have a good rest of your Wednesday. Plan is I'll be back on Friday. I know um, we've got an appointment very early in the morning, but we should be... I, I should be back here in time to start, uh, you know, streaming around the normal time here. So uh, I don't think that will impact things, but if it does, I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, Sony's doing their thing. Uh, yeah, well, that's just, it's just Final Fantasy footage, right? So check that out if you're going to watch that. Um, I don't have time, unfortunately, to look at the Meet Your Maker map right now. I got to, I got to scram and see what's, uh, what's going on out there. But maybe on Friday we'll do more Meet Your Maker. I don't know. I've. I still really like playing Meet Your Maker, and I made some big adjustments to my base that is uh, seems like it will make it a little more interesting in the back half, a little more deadly. I'm trying to, but but also I got some traps in there that are not working at all that I need to rip out and, and try again. I'm trying to make a hook trap that pulls people up into corrosive fluid, and then also there's a a stabby trap up there too. Once you get pulled all the way up and it, it hasn't killed a single person yet. Um, so yeah, but you know, what is fun when enemies explode after they die. That's been a, a fun little trap thing. Uh, yeah, no, I meet your makers. A lot of fun. Well, maybe, yeah, eh, maybe we'll check that out on a Friday. I've been thinking like, Oh, maybe I won't stream any more of it and I'll just play it. And, you know, people have seen enough or, or whatever, but I don't know. People seem potentially interested in seeing more of it. So, uh, and I super want to play more of it. So there you have it. Anyway, I'm going to take off. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. And um, I'm glad we solved. I'm still going to, I ordered those my cables. I'm still going to get those my cables because you never know. Eventually you will need a microphone cable. That's just the way the world works. But at least we did figure out that the other problem that can happen with a mic cable is it was laying on top of a power cable. <laughs> you know, things that mic cables do. Ugh. How is it 2023 and this is still... I guess this is why people have USB mics, right? I'm like, what is XLR cables? Get fucked, old man. I don't know. Anyway, uh, have a good one. I'll see you later.